Welcome back. And on today's video, we're going to talk about bump stops. Okay, bump stops are kind of a mystery to us all. And we're going to try to break down some of those mysteries to make it more understandable. More on that when we get back. Before we get started, let's let's take care of a little business here with liking, subscribing, um, check out all the videos, but comment. I like comments. I try to answer your comments. Now I'll say some of the comments are hard to answer. Some of the comments are unanswerable. So if I don't answer your comment, it's because I haven't gotten to it or I just don't have an answer for it. Like there are just some comments that are more statements than comments, but comment. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Help us to help you, okay? Bump stops. On our first chart here, we're gonna talk about bottom of the bump, okay? So how do we get a bump stop set? It's very difficult because we have to get, we have to one, understand the load the bump's gonna make. And there's, I'll show you a chart here in a minute that will show us the load that the bump's gonna make, okay? And the bump stop, a foam bump stop, is basically a spring, okay? It's a very progressive spring. It all comes in very late in the travel. So it's very small in the first, ramps up a bunch. Okay, if you go to our website, you can see some of the, the graphs uh, that we show about bumps. On here, we're going to show you the loads that they make. But bottom of the bump is where it's going to make its maximum travel. Okay, a foam bump needs to be in a cup. Okay. And it's important that you use the cup all the time. This cup and the information I'm going to show you go hand in hand. If you use a different cup, it's probably going to produce a different load number as the bump is compressed because it's not being held the same way. Okay. But bottom of the bump is the point that it makes its maximum amount of travel. So, the travel you need versus its maximum amount. So the bump is going to max out at about 1,500 pounds, but it's the height that it's going to max out at that you'll see on the chart. But the bottom of the bump generally is even with the short cup. So when the bottom of the shock reaches the top of the cup, that's bottom of the bump. On our tall cup, it's down in 300 thousandths. So the aluminum ring, the threaded ring on the end of the shock is a quarter inch six. So that disappears. That's bottom of the bump. So if you're doing cameras uh, on your car, like you got, you got GoPros and you're trying to video this to get video documentation, that's where you need to be, okay? Now, that's not really where we're gonna maintain our loads. That's a different number. And we need to kind of understand that. The different types of bump stops shown here is, and these are speed thing bump stops. This is what we primarily use. We use some Penske stuff. Uh, we have them for sale uh, at the shop. Uh, you can call and get them. But we use a soft, a medium, and a hard, and they're indicated by colors. Uh, most of the time, we're on a soft. We do use the soft. and um, it tends to get the, um, the job done, okay? The reason for the medium and the hard would be if I didn't have as much travel in my stroke or I couldn't shim the bump up to get the cup where I needed it, then I would maybe use a harder bump stop because it's going to get to the same uh, value of number that, they all are rated at 1500, but they come in at different heights. So the harder the bump, the sooner it comes in. Okay, so uh, the upper part of the bump will change a little. You'll see that on the chart. But these are the three bumps that we primarily use. These three bumps also coincide with the Pinsky's bumps that are blue, red, and black and natural. But that information is on our website. Um, so go check that out. It's uh, bsbgofast.com. Go to the tech section or the blog section, and you'll find 
a blog about bunks. And in there will be the graphs, this chart. I'll post a link to that in in the bio, so that I'll post a link to that in in the description below, and you can check her out. Now, on this chart, we're looking at the numbers, and we start at zero. We go every hundred thousand. You see that, like the bump that we use, it also comes in two different heights. Okay, same thing, but just we need to get the bump up a little taller. You know, we just need a different travel range. And that's where the taller bumps, you know, running out at about two inches, 150 thousandths, it looks like. Okay. But if we need that range, then that's why we do it. So if we're using it on the right front or the right rear, you know, the height of the bump or is important, or we may have to shim the whole cup up with, uh, you know, a 300 spacer or an inch spacer, then we do that to get into the range we need on the right rear, you know, where we're trying to add, uh, you know, a softer bump situation. You know, we may have to go over there and use a stiffer. So, like for an example, you know, the blue at a half inch travel is 135 pounds, where the, where the the red is 60. So, if I need to be in a little different rate, then at a half inch, that's what we do. Um, Likewise with the tall. Uh, and like I said, this is foam bumps, not polyurethane, not the uh, COT type bump. This is uh, poly, uh, this is a foam bump, uh, also known as a Christmas tree bump. So that's the bumps. Bumps are important, but along with the bump is knowing the travel, okay? As you do different bumps, you, you need to do different valving. Uh, this is something we probably will cover in a different video. If you're on a bump currently and you feel like you need to improve your valving, call us at the shop and we can cover that. Um, bump stops, very important. The travel on it's very important. It's very important. You might as well get a travel indicator. I'll put a link below for a part number for that. Um, we have a good travel indicator. It doesn't rotate on the shock as it moves up and down. So it gives you good indication of your travels. We need to know our max travel and we need to know our common travel. So without this information, it just makes doing what we're doing much harder. So look at these products over, look at the bumps over, go to the website, study this stuff. If you have any questions, comment. If you're using a bump and you like the bump, comment. If you found something that you think works better and you wanna help people to understand that, comment and I'll go research that and then we may make a video of it. But comments are gold, guys, so I appreciate you helping. So as always, guys, go fast, go left, and God bless you. We'll see you next time.